The newest and highest speed internet technology available is now here in Indianapolis. Verizon set up the first house with 5G capabilities earlier today. And it's actually one of the first in the world to have that kind of power. Anna Carrera breaks down what this technology does and why so many people are so anxious to get it. Verizon is just one of the major retailers planning to roll out the 5G technology all across the country, but they are the first to come here to Indianapolis. Company leaders say this is a prime location, and the family that's getting it first says they're very excited about it, too. October is a big month for the Ballou family. Not only is it Halloween, but it also means they're getting 5G. I always wanted a smart home. If you take a look around. Activate the fireplace. You got it. Activating the fireplace. Their house is already pretty smart. If I'm laying in bed and I was like, oh, did I forget to lock the doors? I just say, hey, Google, lock the doors. Okay, performing action. And the doors are locked. Technology doesn't just keep them safe, it also helps them have fun. Hey Google, play some music. <laughs> Tuesday's 5G edition will make that even easier. I was frustrated with the internet that we have because we weren't doing that much at the same time on top of it and things would just freeze. To have a reliable connection all the time will be nice. Uh, this is a family that understands the power of technology and how their home is connected and uh, how technology will continue to enable their lives. But how will it do that? Let's break it down for you. 5G is the fifth generation of wireless technology. It started with 1G, which was basically just to use cell phones. 2G got us texting, 3G brought smartphones into service, and 4G made it easier to transfer data faster. Now 5G will be another step forward. Downloads could be 30 to 50 times faster than they were on 4G, and the delay could get down to one millisecond or less. A feature-length HD movie can be downloaded faster than the time it takes for me to read this sentence. Baby toys may not be on the 5G network yet, but the Baloos can already see the way technology is shaping their little boy and his future. I'm sure his first words are going to be, hey Google, probably, or something along those lines. This rollout, like all of the others, will take time, but company leaders say that once it expands, they'll be able to help build smarter cities, better businesses, and even develop those autonomous cars. Reporting in Indianapolis, I'm Anna Carrera, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.